Normal microscopes use light and glass lenses in order to form images. Most molecules that we're interested in in biology are smaller than the wavelength of light. So it's completely hopeless to look at them with a large microscope. Uh, there are other microscopes, this is one of them, uh, which are much more powerful and they use electrons instead of light. Electrons travel from the, from the top down to the bottom through a very narrow column. So when the electron hits, the molecules get scattered and then these scattered rays are combined to form an image. But in cryo microscopy, the molecules that we're interested in, they are very quickly frozen to the temperature of liquid nitrogen. Under these conditions, the molecules cannot move anymore. Since there are so many molecules and they all have essentially identical structure, we have thousands and thousands of images and each image depicts the molecule in a different orientation. By programs that I have initially developed in the 1970s and, and 80s, it is possible then to combine the images into a three-dimensional structure. I'm very excited about the opening of, the, of this cryo-EM facility and it greatly expands the facilities for researchers here at Columbia University. With the addition of the ultimately three Titan microscopes, we will have a first-class facility. It's probably one of the best uh, in, in the whole world.